Hey gang. Well, I got a little bit of a problem here. I uh, I made a fairly significant mistake and I'm now just in the middle of trying to fix it. But when I was looking at the extenders, uh, whether they were leg extenders or truck extenders, to facilitate trace supply, I was, uh, and I don't know where I got this, I probably just, uh, you know, been a while since I played OCS and I hadn't actually used uh, extenders in the, I'm just trying to find a spot for this without the glare, uh, used the truck extenders and stuff in TBL. So, when I was counting back uh, the number of hexes back, I was using the 5 plus 1 count back just like you do with headquarters, but actually what you do is you count the extender range back plus 1, and then the headquarters count five back to the trucks or the wagons, and then they throw forward, which changes the dynamic a little bit. It's, it's uh, in fact, it's markedly different. And so that is actually gonna limit uh, most of the reach uh, of the Germans. That's one of the reasons why we seem to have got as far as we have so quickly. Now, in this instance over here, where the units are over here, these guys, second Panzer, with the 57th Panzer headquarters here, uh, they moved last turn, and I, as a matter of fact, I'm in the middle of starting this turn, so we'll just flip him back. But I'm going to sh shorten his move up to here, and that's based on the fact that we will uh, have to have moved the uh, truck extender to here. That will then put all of these forces uh, in appropriate supply, and with headquarters in, in other areas around Bryant's, because that will take care of the rest of that area. The Prickly uh, problem was, uh, where are we, where do we go, here, yeah. these two SS formations got a little excited about themselves, they were out of supply, they were, uh, there's no way I could have had them in supply, so I, I rolled for attrition for both of them, and they both passed, and I popped them, uh, uh, and I didn't feed off the map, so I popped them into out of supply mode, and then over here, these guys here, this whole formation, uh, we either need to roll for them or move them back. Uh, because I think the furthest I can get is actually to here. Uh, here and this is the reach, uh, the headquarter range plus one. <clears throat> now I have a truck extender that I'm trying to put together, but I've been busy moving supply forward, so I'm only using a wagon extender at the moment, so it doesn't have quite as far a throw. And I'm a little reluctant to start the uh, move the, the truck extender into position just yet, because uh, I think I can, I, can, I can wrap up this area and put the extender here somewhere, and then count 20 hexes back on this road will, uh, you can't see that, over here. I'll put the truck extender here, in uh, Gazist, and uh, come back on this road to allow my trace route to be pretty significantly long. So what that's going to do is really forestall any uh, aggressive moves on Rajev here. And I think what I might just do is is move these guys back to uh, to somewhere around here where they could could have nominally reached. Uh, that would seem to be and be a fair assessment. So we'll just pop these guys back here in a little line. Uh, that's a little disappointing that I made that faux pas, but so be it. It is what it is. And you just move on. So it's just as well it wasn't a Soviet turn and we moved and uh, realized that, we then realized the mistake. So what we'll do is uh, we'll double check the supply ranges now for some of the other the sort of smaller little pockets of forces and, uh, and kind of see where we're at with everything. I think we should be okay everywhere down on this, on the northern end of the map. Southern end of the map, that's a whole other deal. Haven't even looked at it yet. And uh, kind of scared. All right, more soon.